one of our contenders once told me that if he could bottle and sell the feeling you get when you're on Gladiators, he would be a millionaire. Well, we can't promise you that, but what we can promise you are some fantastic prizes and a lot of money. Ollie, tell us about the prizes. Well, our champions this year will each walk away with no less than £5,000. They get £2,000 each, so there's a lot to play for. So let's meet those contenders who might just win those prizes. They are... Sue Smith! And Nikki Wyatt! Sue, very warm welcome to Gladiators. How are you feeling? Fine, thank you. Fine. Tell us what you do and where you're from. Um, I'm a fitness instructor from Bournemouth. And you have a little daughter, is that right? Yeah, I have a little girl um, called Rachel Caroline May, and she's 14 months old, and uh, she's here today supporting me. Oh, she's a young un. We start them young here. Now, you have actually been following Gladiators quite avidly right from the first series, haven't you? Yeah, I watched the first series and thought, like everybody else, that looks easy, I could do that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> thought, and then um, the second year, I was pregnant with Rachel, so I couldn't do it. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to go for it for the third year. So I used it to get my shape back and train for Gladiators. Wish you the very, very best of luck against the Gladiators. We'll see you a little bit later on. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Smith! Now, Nikki, you're a fitness instructor or a gym instructor? A fitness instructor, that's right. Um, Where are you based? Based down in, uh, well, two clubs. Uh, Pinnacle West by Fleet. Hi, guys! For all the guys in. And also Prince's in Ashford. Again? Tell us, Nikki, have you been doing any special training for tonight? Um, yeah, a lot more upper body work, strength work, rope climbing, um, and just general cardiovascular fitness. Are you worried about your size at all? Because you're not one of the biggest. Yeah, not one of the biggest, no. Uh, little and quick. Well, we'll see how you get on. Let's hear it for Nikki. Get yourself ready, Nikki. Let's meet the guys tonight. They are Alex Lee. And Paul Fields. Welcome to Gladiators. Feeling all right? I'm fine, thanks. Where are you from and what do you do? I'm from Dundee, Scotland, and I'm proprietor of a very good Chinese takeaway. Called? The Golden Crown. Now, I want to know who's looking after the Golden Crown while you're here. Well, unfortunately, customers, I'm closed. All oh, right. Well, only momentarily. Maybe if you get through to the quarters, you'll be closed for quite a while. Now, I understand you're a bit of a karaoke freak. That's right. I sing, but I won't sing in front of this crowd. No way. I was just going to say a small request. Every time I come up with the microphone, please don't sing. I'll try not to. You. <laughs> you're looking forward to tonight? Yes, very much so. Well, we look forward to seeing you in the first event. I'll let you go off and prepare for that. Alex Lee! Now, Paul, you're one of our boys in blue. Where are you based? Based at Holborn Police Station in London. Woo! Paul, tell us, we see on the street every day some fat policemen, some big policemen, some small policemen. How fit are they? Do they go through the rigorous training like the gladiators? You have a minimum standard um, that you have to go through to get in the police force, and that's at Hendon when you go for your training. And um, I've got the record for the uh, fitness test, so. So you're one of the fittest? I am indeed, yeah. Well, we'll see. Off you go, Paul. Get yourself ready. Yeah. All the best. And our first event tonight is Gauntlet. Here they come, the dream team. First contender to try and run the gauntlet is Sue. Sue from Christchurch, 5'7", 9 stone 10, good statistics, not too far off the gladiators, but don't forget there are five of them. Sue looks confident, but she's going to be facing Panther! Falcon! Scorpio! Jet! And Lightning! Over to John Anderson. Contender, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! Sue out of the 
the starting blocks. Oh, and straight through Panther Swing goes into Falcon. Remember, if she gets through in under 20 seconds, she gets 10 points. Oh, and pushes Scorpio into Jet Zone. And breezes past the pair, but straight into Lightning. Let's put the blocks on. Ah, not for long, though. That's a 10-pointer. What a time. What a race. Did you think you could do it? Did you think you could get through? No. I'm surprised I got through, actually. I thought they were going to take me down. I just kept going. I don't know how I did it. Well, Sue, you got to the other end under 20 seconds, which gives you 10 points! If we look at the replay, we can see how she went into jet zone like a pile driver. Slipped two of them and then leapt into lightning zone, held up for a moment, but left her sparking. Next into the gauntlet, Nikki Wyatt, our 28-year-old from Weybridge in Surrey. And she underestimated the show before she got here, but since her training, she told us this. I've been as guilty as others, as most others. I sit there on a Saturday night and I watch Gladiators and I say, why didn't they take that ring behind them all? Come on, push it out. Look, look out for that one there. And everyone, but everyone sits there saying that. But when you're actually up there doing it, it is ten times harder than it looks. Doesn't every contender tell you that? Contender ready! Scorpio bring the brakes on now. Oh, Nelly takes her head off there. Into Jet. And straight line. Oh, good block by Lightning. But not good enough. Even faster. And ten points. You can tell us what you said before. What did you say about this event? I said I wasn't looking forward to it and I couldn't wait for it to be over. Well, Nikki, you did it a little bit quicker. Ten points! Well done, Nikki. And let's hear from our gladiators! In the replay, we can see it was just as well Scorpio tripped Nikki up. Otherwise, she'd have taken her head off like a boiled egg. After the first event, both girls on ten apiece. Next into the gauntlet, Alex at six foot and 12 stone seven. Alex, a very brave man. He's going to be facing Trojan! Saracen! The mighty warrior! The hunter! And the awesome shadow! Contender ready! Gladiators ready! Three, two, one! Alex facing the mean machine, our Chinese takeaway owner, hoping they won't make Job Suey out of him. And he's past Trojan. Oh, this card sounds like an empty takeaway carton. Oh, Warrior's lost his ramrod. Oh, and Hunter's lost his man. Shadow dives and oh, misses completely. Alex, when John Anderson said, contender ready, I saw your face, but you did it. Well done. Yeah, that was great. I had it back in my mind. I was a bowling ball, they were just the pins. I had to get a strike, and I got a strike. Yes. Well done, Alex. Ten points! It just goes to show you can never predict the outcome of these events. I'd have laid money that he wouldn't have got through those gladiators quite so easily. Next into the gauntlet, our policeman Paul Field. Represented Great Britain at two Olympics in the bobsleigh. Impressive stats, six foot and 14 stone. Should have a lot of lower body strength to power through these gladiators. Contender! Ready! Adios! Ready! Three, two, one! Hurtle 
Oh, straight into Trojan and pushes him out of the game. Oh, and Saracen the same. He's treating these gladiators like toboggans and pushing them down the course. Oh, Warrior physically throwing him down. What does Warrior think he's doing there? Now, Hunter doing a great job with those blocking pads. And really holding him up. He's losing time on that clock. Straight into Shadow. And Shadow doing a great job. Not putting his body weight on, otherwise he'd be disqualified. Paul's pinned out of the points. Earlier, he told me his favourite film was Sleepless in Seattle. This is more like beaten up in Birmingham. In the replay, we can see Warrior physically picks him up and throws him down. Well out of order. John Anderson couldn't have seen it. That was a hard one. I think he went Saracen, Warrior, Hunter, and then last Shadow. Tough guys. Did you expect it to be so hard? Uh, yeah. It went there. Uh, oh, I had about 18 gladiators there, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, I did a bit of training for this because uh, I went to two Olympics bobsleigh. So, uh, it didn't help. No, it didn't help. Unfortunately, Paul, no points. Great. Plenty more to go. Well, could this be another hit for Andrew Lloyd Webber? I doubt it. So, after one event. Alex, 10 points, Paul yet to score. So now we move on into event number two, one of this season's new games, a Pyramid. Our two contenders are standing at the foot of a 32-foot pyramid, which they have to attempt to climb. Each black and white step is about two foot in height. That's the equivalent of you climbing the stairs at home four steps at a time. That sounds quite easy, but don't forget, of course, at the top are two of our gladiators who are going to attempt to throw them off. So Sue and Nikki are ready and waiting, and tonight they face Nightshade and Jet. Over to John Anderson. Contenders, ready! Nightshade on Sue and Jet on Nikki. And Nikki and Blue removed from the pyramid by Jet. Nightshade and Sue going for a quick tumble. Oh, and Jet and Nikki copy their example. And Sue can't get past Nightshade. But Nikki scrambling to the top, and Jet's on her case, and she catches her. Sue's free! Now Nightshade won't catch her now. Jet drags Nikki down to the bottom. And Sue's there for 10 points and the fireworks to prove it. Now it's all about Nikki and Jet. And Nikki going nowhere but down. Both girls will be very tired now. The game really takes it out of you. tumble as John Anderson blows his whistle. Well, Nightshade did a great job most of the way, and she'll be disappointed that Sue got up there. I think at first I counted you falling down about three times, and then somehow you got away. I don't know how. I couldn't even see her in the end. Just kept running, and I got to about the last two, and I didn't think I was going to get there. And I looked round, she wasn't there. She absolutely wasn't. And you pick up ten points! Yeah. Now, Nikki, it wasn't from one to trying, was it? I mean, there was quite a battle going on there. Yeah, it's hard work climbing those stairs even without a gladiator coming down. But uh, she's quick, you try and dodge her, she's there all the time. One tactic was to pull them down, rung up, but it's hard work. And you looked as if you were having a little bit of fun, despite the fact that your helmet had come off as well. It's fun, I want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're not going to. No points, but let's hear it for Nikki. We were talking to each other up there as well. Were you? Out cycling each other or just trying to help each other on? Um, a bit of both, I think. It's a long way to fall down there, isn't it? Right from the top, right from the bottom. I like it, though. <laughs> well done, Jet. Nightshade, she got past you. What happened? That's unlike you. Well, obviously it wasn't deadly enough today, isn't it? That's the problem. 
No, but I think she was very good. She was very fit. And um, when we tumble to the bottom, and I actually quite like the tumbling, so I'm, whenever I play this game, I'm always going to go for a good tumble. Um, I hit the mat, and in the instant I talked to get my, um, get my orientation back, she had gone, like a little whippet. So I should watch out for her in, in some of the other games as well. Plenty more to go, Nightshade. Let's hear it for Nightshade and Jen. After two events, Sue's on a maximum of 20 points. Nikki's on 10. So now we move on into the men's event with Paul and Alex. Tonight they face Wolf and Trojan. Over to John Anderson. Contender ready. is on Alex and Trojans on Paul. And it's straight into a clinch. Paul and Trojan and a roll. And it's Paul that's up first and moving on up. And Alex discarded with disdain by the Wolf, but Paul's escaped Trojan. And he picks up ten points, like Tutankhamen, king of the pyramid. And he's not wrapped in bandages. But it's a fair old set of points. Sorry, everybody, couldn't resist that. Now, poor old Alex, getting nowhere fast. Oh, and I think Wolf's found his spare ribs. Oh, there goes Alex's helmet, followed by Alex and Wolf. What's Wolf doing? He's got to let him up, otherwise he'll be disqualified by the referee. Out of stamina and out of time. And I bet Alex's daughter would like to play on that pyramid. Well done, Paul. Up there very, very quickly indeed. Oh, what's well, nil training? <laughs> oh. Well, that's better that way around, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's really deceptive. The steps, they're spongy. It just zaps all your energy. And they look very short as well. Yeah. You haven't got a good foothold there. I try to grab hold of him, take him to the bottom, and just use my speed to get up. It worked. You'll be pleased with 10 points. <laughs> Alex, there really was a touch of snakes and ladders about your game. Yeah, that was really tough. I underestimated these guys. You know, I thought they were just big marshmallows, but they're not. <laughs> they certainly aren't at all. And uh, you came tumbling a few times, a little bit too much uh, cuddling going on at some stage. Yeah, I think he was uh, deliberately holding me on. But uh, the referee's there all the time, so he's right. Absolutely. No points. Let's hear it for Alex. Soldier, what did you have in your mind? Did you have any plans to start off? How are you going to tackle him? Yeah, I mean, I was literally just going to jump on top of him. Uh, what, from the top? Yeah. But then we weren't sure if they are going to switch sides. So we calm it down, but uh, I'll get on uh, next time. Come on. He's, well done. He's very fast. He's very fast. Plenty more. Yeah. Wolfman. Victory. <laughs> Stopped him. There's a rare smile from the Wolfman. Wolf, you're very quiet today. Are you going to be a good Wolfman today? I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be a good man today. You're going to be a pussycat today? That's nice. I'm a stone lighter. I'm 14 stone this year instead of 15 stone. And I was a little bit faster, so it's, it's, it's a good event for me. You can be a nice man. He can be a nice man when he wants to. Good. Let's head for the Wolfman and Trojan! I said, gentlemen, I know. I'm going to have a day off from being bad. What do you think? Yeah, it'll be good for a day. I'll be good for one day. Do you reckon it'll be right? Only one day. I don't know how to do it. Yeah, just one day. Just one day, be, I'm going to be good. What's going to be nice for one contest? Just one it. day. That's all. So I'll get used to it, all right, yeah. Well, I'm taking bets he won't manage a whole day, but Paul's managed to square things up, ten points apiece. Well, after that, we're going to have a small break. But don't go away when you can see some more exciting fun on the Gladiators! Indoor Arena, where we just set up for yet another of this season's new games, Pursuit. 
Now our contenders are chased by our gladiators through this pursuit course made up of balance beams, wire bridges and web traps. Now all is lost when our gladiator tags the contender with the hand. But the first contender through the course will pick up 10 points, the runner-up a valuable 5 points. Well Sue and Nikki are ready to go, but so are Scorpio and Lightning. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Contenders. You will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Well, I'm not sure if three seconds head start is going to be enough for these girls. If they fall off the snake beam, they have to remount where they came off. And we've got Scorpio chasing Sue. Lightning is after Nikki. And now they mount the wire bridge. Lightning very close to Nikki. Nikki onto the hand ladder. And Lightning getting closer all the time. And Sue on hers. Scorpio on her case now. And she tags her. Nikki onto the web trap. And low wall. Over the low wall cleanly. Second web trap. Contenders have called this quicksand because you sink into it. Oh, she's tagged! In the replay, Nikki tackles that wall really well. But as soon as she hits the web trap, she stumbles. And the old quicksand slows her down as lightning catches her up on the high wall and tags her. Just caught you, eh? Yeah. Not quick enough? No, like her name suggests, lightning. I actually was uh, wondering whether three seconds would be enough, but panicked a bit when I got here. Couldn't get over the wall, she was just there behind me. Now you know why they call her lightning. Absolutely. Lightning, again, doing well. Thank you. This is a really exciting game. I was so close to her, but she just wasn't within reach. So, all the way around, it was so close. But at the last minute... But Lightning, you know, this is your game, isn't it? Yeah, this is a very fitness orientated game, and balance, and rhythm, you know. She did very well. You were quite far. You were nearly up here. Well done. Let's hear it for Nikki and Lightning! Both girls tag, so no points scored. Sue remains on 20, Nikki on 10. Alex from Dundee told us his thoughts about training in Scotland. Well, the standard of uh, fitness in Scotland is, I'm sorry to say, is slightly uh, lower than the rest of the country, simply because I think of uh, training facilities and all that, um, and to do with uh, um, local government providing the facilities uh, for training. But um, hopefully, after um, seeing me um, from Dundee, uh, Scotland, uh, hopefully the people will take notice of, um, of fitness and uh, training and all that up in Scotland. So now we move into the men's event with Alex and Paul. Tonight, they're going to be pursued by Cobra and Saracen. Contenders, you will go on my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle. That's after the first Three, one. Three, two, one. Cobra chasing Alex and Saracen pursuing Paul. The guys doing well on the beam. Now Paul on the lead on the wire bridge. And Gladiators nowhere near them at the moment. Oh, Paul slips, and Saracen nearly on him. Oh, and Paul's found another gear. He's moved off. And both boys hit the web trap together. But Paul's first over the low wall, sprints through the web trap. Now it's over the high wall and into the sprint finish. And Gladiator's nowhere to be seen at the moment. And Paul first home for 10 points, and Alex for five. the replay, you can see how Paul loses it. Catches sight of Saracen on his tail and goes into overdrive. After three events, Alex moves up to 15, but Paul takes the lead with 20. Next event, hang tough. 
First up, our single parent, Sue Smith. As a single parent, it's quite difficult um, to work. Um, obviously, I have to rely on a lot of people to help me out, um, babysitting in the evenings and such, and also I rely on lots of people in creches at different centres to help me. Um, basically, I, I only work about 16 hours a week, which is enough for me just to survive. Um, it's quite difficult, but um, I really enjoy what I do, and I couldn't go on the dole or anything. I just have to work. Sue's on her platform, getting ready to hang tough, and she's going to be facing lightning! <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Lightning's stats great, but her technique even better. to hear those comments from Sue Smith. It says a lot for the young lady's character. But she's going to have to work hard to get across the Lightning's platform. But she's looking very comfortable up there. That is up until this moment as Lightning wraps her legs around her. How strong is that grip? Pretty good so far. Oh, but not good enough. Another Lightning Mac finish. Sue. Sue, before we start, last event, Pursue, you saw John Anderson, you put in an official complaint. Tell us a little bit about it. Why? Well, I put in a complaint because um, Scorpio went on the wrong um, wire. Um, she should have followed me around on mine and she didn't, so she got closer to the um, hand grips than I did, so I put in a complaint. Well, John Anderson and the rest of the team have watched it, the replay, and you were right. You've been awarded five extra points! tough against lightning she's a tough cookie as you know yeah she's pretty <laughs> she's good <laughs> it's pretty nerve-wracking up there did you expect to get in the score zone or even get any points on the other platform uh, no. <laughs> no you didn't <laughs> no I just had a go at it and I thought I did all right actually so I did well well done let's hear it for Sue <laughs> well done lightning is there anybody out there can beat you I like to think not well done. Let's hear it for Lightning! And next to face the undefeated Lightning is Nikki! Over to John Anderson. Contender ready! Consultant Nikki Wyatt swing into the big time and the big points. Good rhythm, good style, good luck to her. Their last encounter in pursuit. Lightning definitely came out the better. Lightning traversing into her path. And Nikki needs to change direction. But she can't do, and that means it's good night for Yenna. In the replay, we can clearly see how Lightning turns on one hand. Changes direction, and Lightning strikes! After four events with Sue's five-point bonus from Pursuit, she moves on to 25, while Nikki remains on 10. Alex is on his platform, and he's waiting to hang tough against the mighty, the awesome, the indestructible, the Shadow! Shadow at 6'4 and 19 and a half stones, not really built for this event, oh, which requires joints. more gymnastic ability than muscle. Contender ready! Having 
said that about Shadow's stats, it's not going to stop him doing the job. Alex Leiter, and trying to speed past the Shadow, stuck now, the white of his eyes mesmerised, said the banner, and that's exactly what they're doing. Shadow grabs Alex's ring, and Alex leaves him. Oh, that was nifty and nimble. And Shadow lost at the moment, and Alex one ringed. It's now a question of whether Shadow can get to him. His knees are up. Oh, and a knee back somersault from Alex, but I'm not sure it's what he wanted to do. Alex. Fantastic display, nearly did it. A little bit of gymnastics there as well. Yeah, I thought I had him, John. It's a hang tough, it's really hang tough. Tell me, have you ever been on the hang tough before? You're looking pretty good there. I did some of the training. I, I did, at home, I did some uh, upper body strength. I mean, I thought I was going to go through it, no problem, but it's not a piece of cake. So how did you learn to be able to jump from ring to ring like that? Just doing chin-ups all the time. Well, unlucky, but a great display, great exhibition. Well done, Alex! Next up to face the big man is our man in blue, our Bobby. It's Paul! Over to John Anderson. Contender! ever been a member of the flying squad. I've got to fly right past this shadow. Shadow's grabbed an ankle and Paul's got to be careful he doesn't kick him. John Anderson won't stand for that. I'll tell you what, Shadow won't think much of it either. That foot dangerously close. Oh, Paul casts a giant shadow. Now can he get across to the platform for those ten points? He's got the strength and skill necessary. Come on! Yes, ten points! Our copper makes a tenner. Yes! Who's the first man to congratulate him? Shadow. Congratulations, Paul. Not many people have done that. Gone past Shadow. How did you do it? Just kept my feet up, trying to keep him away without kicking him right, you know? Well, there was one point there where we thought you were going to kick him in the face. Yeah, that's, that's why I was trying to keep my feet back and just keep him up in the air, you know? And, of course, as you know, that wouldn't have been fair and it's not no. allowed. Fair play, you know? It looked like he went for you, he tried to grab you. you out psyched him, I think, there, Paul. Well, I don't know about out psyched. He's pretty good at psyching people out. Basically, as he went for me, because he went for the other foot, I just tried to get it out as quickly as possible and it worked. What sort of lock did he have on your left leg there? It looked like it was a pretty tight hold. Solid, yeah. As soon as his own weight went on just one leg, that's when it slipped straight down. Did it worry you when he got hold of you? Did it. <laughs> well, well done, you got to the other platform. Well done, you got your points. You. Well done, Paul. <laughs> Shadow, how much are you weighing at the moment? Right now, about 19 stone. 19 stone. Don't you think that's a little bit heavy for the rings? No, not really. I mean, you don't really feel the weight when you're up there. The rings, it's all about upper body strength, and that's what you've got. Exactly, it is about upper body strength, and it's also about the game is not designed for the faint of heart. There are 50 rings to choose from. You must have the ability to be able to move, maybe traverse the different rings. So what went wrong? Uh, I had no choice. I mean, I had one hand on one ring, and I had hold of his leg. My only decision was to try and grab hold of him and pull him down with me. But he hanged tough. Did you think he was going to kick you in the face? I did for a split second there think he was just, like, raising his foot up like as if he was going to, but I didn't think he would. We've got some very fair contenders. But let's hear it for Shadow! <laughs> After four events, Alex remains on 15. PC Paul extends his lead to 30. Event five is Suspension Bridge. And first up, it's Sue, and tonight she's facing Zodiac. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. Contender, ready! <laughs> and it's off, ready! to get across to the Gladiators' platform and five for staying there for 60 seconds. And 
she's pushing Zodiac all the way back to her platform. And off, 10 easy, easy points. In the replay, Sue powers her way past Zodiac, nudges her out of the way, and Zodiac left with nowhere to go but down. Zodiac stats show us she's good in the height department, but perhaps lacking in body weight. Next up against Zodiac, it's Nikki! Over to John Anderson. Contender, ready! Four with plenty to do here if she wants to get past and stay in points contention with Sue. A lot of pushing and shoving up there. Oh, and once again, Zodiac should have seen that in the stars. Ten points for Nikki. It looks a bit like the first day of the sales up there, and Nikki was the first to the bargains. All ten of them. Congratulations, thank you very much. Yeah, I need the points, so I'm pleased with that one. She's tough though, she hits hard. It got very physical at one stage where the hammer's head sort of got in the way and it was more body pushing, really. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what happens in this game, but uh, at the end of the day, I got my 10 points. So 10 I'm points to Nikki, well done! <laughs> I suppose you did succeed in making her lose her hammerhead, but that was about it. That was about it. We had a, a reasonably good fight, I gave it my best. By the end of the day, she got across the bridge, and it's her 10 points. So well Absolutely. Done. Let's hear it for Zodiac. Both girls add 10 to their scores. Sue goes up to 35, Nikki to 20. So now we move into the men's event with Alex. And, oh, dear, tonight he faces the Wolfman. Well, earlier, the Wolf promised to be good for a day. Will he keep his promise? Six foot, but having trimmed down his weight to 14 stone for speed, he may have lost some of that strength. Off here. Oh, Wolf uses his hammerhead to hammer Alex's head back, and Wolf fishing out his own large portions of takeaway. Take that, or oh, get away! Well, Alex, <laughs> sorry about that one, but I suppose you've got to hand it to him. Yeah, that was really. That's different. I was, I was hoping to be Indiana Jones there and try to get across the bridge, but. Nowhere near! Nowhere near. No points on this occasion, but let's hear it for Alex. Well, Wolf promised to be good, and he was. Well, let's see if our policeman, Paul Field, can contain him. He's a good all-round athlete, as he told us earlier. I've been very successful in both my sports, bobsleigh and athletics. I went to two Olympic Games in uh, bobsleigh 1992, in Albertville 1994 in Lillehammer. And then in 1992, after the... Winter Olympics. I then became an international decathlon. And my first international in Finland. My first in school. Rank number five in Great Britain. Next up against Wolf, it's Paul. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. John Kendall, ready. As a decathlete, he's used to worrying about ten events, but now he's just got the one, dispose of the wolf. Oh, but he's just done that. Oh. He's celebrating so much, he's forgotten to get across to the other side of the bridge. Now he can celebrate. Well, Wolf's promised to be good, but how is he going to take this? In the replay, we can see Wolf getting a great jab in. Good job he was wearing a neck brace, but Paul just soaked it up and then soaked up the applause. Well, Paul, I have to say, it's like memory lapse there. In all the excitement of throwing Wolf off, you forgot you've got to make it across to the Gladiators podium. Everybody's cheering over that side. All my friends, family, station. Hey! You're paying too much attention to 
to your fans. You've got to concentrate on these games, but uh, you did very well indeed. His first hit not, nearly knocked my head off. It really did, <laughs> honestly. But you're pleased with the 10 point. Uh, Let's hear it for Wolf and for Paul. Well, Wolf, true to his word, but as Trojan said, don't bank on it happening next week. After five events, Alex is on 15, while Paul powers up to 40. As well as physical strength, mental strength is imperative in our next event, or all is lost. I'm talking, of course, about the Eliminator. After the break, here on Gladiators. contenders now is the eliminator now in the women's event sue leads by 15 points each point is worth half a second that will give her a seven and a half second head start sue you will go on my first whistle nikki you will go on my second whistle three two one seven and a half seconds for sue to make her mark on this eliminator course Straight after her. Sue picked up an injury to her hand in hang tough, so the first part of the course is going to be difficult for her. It's all about grip. Making hard work of the rope climb. Nikki's already up there with her. Both girls are on the hand ladder. Nikki ahead now. Both safely over the rolling beams. Nikki leaving Sue behind on the cargo net. Now the zip line. It's a good landing. Now, can she keep her? Oh my goodness, she slipped off the balance beam and Sue's landing! Both girls now on the balance beam. Nikki's off and Sue's fallen off! Now Nikki's on the travelator and our 28-year-old fitness consultant from Wave is into the quarterfinals! Sue finishes this punishing eliminator course at the Travelator. First attempt to the relief of herself and her family. Great contender. Congratulations, Nikki. You gave us a little bit of a heart attack there on the beam. Slips off. Do you lose your footing? Yeah, I think I panicked a bit. I couldn't see where Sue was. So I just wanted to have a little check. Misplaced my foot, but took it slow the second time round. Paid off. It certainly did over the moving log. Up the cargo net, you're away. The zip line, fantastic. Another winner on Gladiator! Well, Sue, we did discuss one of your injuries just before the Eliminator, a very, very nasty blister that you got in your hands, and it was indeed the hand uh, ladder that uh, did you in. Yeah, but Nikki did really well to catch me up. I don't think I could have caught up in seven and a half seconds. She did really well, and I'd just like to thank everybody for coming to see me, especially a girl called Kelly Lane who looked after my little girl for a whole week so I could actually get here. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, that's nice to hear. Let's hear it for Sue. So before we go to the men's eliminator, let's take a time out. My favourite films, well, I love the cinema, um, but in particular, JFK, Bodyguard, and Dances with Wolves, anything that involves Kevin Costner. I have no favourite film as such. I like uh, all swashbuckling movies, pirate films, uh, knights in shining armour, and uh, science fiction movies. My favourite film is Sarafina, because uh, in that film it shows young people trying to make the best they can of a very bad situation. Favourite movie would be... I love action movies and stuff, but the one I really love is Beaches. And if you haven't seen it, get some shares in Kleenex first. My favourite film is Blade Runner, the director's cut. I love science fantasy and uh, very much a science fantasy film. Fantastic, very exciting. Go and see it. My favourite film 
I say is Malcolm X because it was very topical and it's a bit of history too. My favourite film is perhaps Twins because I love Arnold. Jungle Book. Love the Jungle Book and Jason and the Argonauts. Good films. So now we move into the men's eliminator where Paul is leading by 25 points. So that will give him a 12 and a half a second head start. Paul, you will go on my first whistle. Alex, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. He's got 12 and a half seconds head start. Tell you what, he doesn't need it, judging by the way he's going at the moment. Here comes Alex with a whole lot to do. And Paul across the road, he's been with two giant strides. Alex will have great difficulty in catching this up. Paul at the top of the net, while Alex is at the bottom. Paul, a little look at Alex as he goes down the zip line. Paul knows it's just a question of keeping his head, and he's into the quarterfinals. Jumps off the balance beam, past the end point, which is allowed, and powers to the top of the travelator and into the quarterfinals. No slouch on this course has caught up time only 10 seconds behind. Paul, that must be one of the fastest we've ever seen here. I don't know how you did that. I'm running scared, man, I'm running scared. Yeah. Just not as if they're right up behind you the whole time. It wasn't until I was coming down to travel later. Huh? The zip stream. I looked over and I saw him still coming up the net. But don't tell me all policemen are as fit as you. No, but there's a lot of fit policemen out there. We're here to look after you, so don't worry. We've certainly done that. Another winner on Gladiators! Now, Alex, what can I say? Well, you did very well indeed. You, you made it up the Travelator at least. I suppose that's something to memory to take home. Yeah, that's a bonus. <laughs> Anyone to thank? Uh, I'd like to thank all my supporters who've, who's come all the way, a long way from Scotland and uh, supporting me all the way, they've done really well, and um, a great support. Well, the very best of luck. Let's hear it for Alex. <laughs> and let's hear it for our two winners, Paul and Nikki on the Gladiators! So, success for Paul and Nikki this week. If you can bear the tension, why don't you join us next week for more action here on for safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. And the thighs will be burning as we attempt another run up the Travelator. More Gladiators is on the way next, new to challenge. Whilst over on pick, it's border security, Australia's front line.